Manche Menschen glauben daran, dass Geschichten wahr werden, wenn man sie nur oft genug erzählt. Dass sie uns zu dem machen, wer wir sind. Und das macht uns Angst. Leck mich, Harris. Willst du ein Geisterhaus sehen? Nach dem Verschwinden mehrerer Kinder wurden alle Türen verriegelt. Okay, ich hab's gesehen. Gehen wir jetzt wieder? Du bist so ein Feigling. What is the beginning of this friendship between a Mexican and a Norwegian? Twitter. <lacht> Lovely. Yes, I, I, I love his movies. And I wrote him, I wrote about it on Twitter and I, I wrote um, to him uh, on Twitter. And when you got the message? It was crazy. I was like, my God, Gil, Gilamo de Toro just uh, tweeted about my movie. I can't believe it. This little obscure movie. And he uh, saw it and it was just, uh, yeah. I liked it. <laughs> and from the moment, what happened? Why? How did you choose this particular script, these stories to be told together? I was developing it for myself. And then when I was not going to direct it, uh, and they said, well, who, who could? And I said, look, we, I, I said this literally. I said, we would win the lottery if this guy wanted it, but I'm sure he has his own stuff. It's Andre Obregal. Mm -hmm. And Sean said immediately, he's great. I love his stuff, blah, blah, blah. And then we went to him, and he accepted. What is this? A book with big stories. Was ist da los? Tommy ist verschwunden. Tommys Name stand in dem Buch. Das hängt nicht irgendwie zusammen, oder? Aber was, wenn alles, was in dem Buch steht, tatsächlich passiert? Oh nein. Orgi? Stella! Du bist in der nächsten Geschichte. Bitte sei vorsichtig. Es geht um eine Leiche, die ihren verlorenen See sucht. There was any hesitation? Because sometimes working with your biggest hero could be thrilling or could be a scary horrifying yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no but I mean it was obviously daunting but it was also like an opportunity of a lifetime I mean how could I not mm -hmm. it's just uh, I've admired his movies my entire uh, you know life basically from my so Kronos through um, through Blade 2 and Pan's Labyrinth and I loved every one of them and uh, it's just been uh, an amazing experience to learn from him for this last year yeah how was working together? I mean, you are busy all the time, Guillermo. You are yeah. in many projects. Yeah. How was the relation? Sky well, we, 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 that's why we do them in Toronto. Because mm -hmm. I, I, I work on all the projects in Toronto, so yes. I can I can be there. Uh, if if Andre said, "Look, could you come today?" I would be there. If he didn't need me, I wasn't there. I think my my strongest uh, support is in pre-production mm -hmm. and post-production. You know, during the shoot, I if I appear, probably a monster is being shot. You know. We have etwas Böses erweckt. Ihr hättet das Buch niemals nehmen dürfen. Wir müssen es aufhalten. Hilf mir! Sarah Bellows Buch. Die Geschichten schreiben sich selbst und alles wird wahr. Der Janky Man wird kommen. Talking about monsters, I mean, this movie, apart from being horrifying in a good way, it's such a plethora of monsters. Yes. How did you design, how did you put them together, this kind of cast the, the, of the monsters? Book? The book? Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. it was based on the drawings, really. We wanted to stick as close as possible to these very famous and beloved drawings. Yeah. Are we looking into the future? We think so. I mean, we, we hope so. I mean, creatively, we can. Mm -hmm. I mean, I really enjoyed collaborating with Andre. I think, I, I must say, it's probably uh, one of the, uh, in the top three um, pleasurable experiences producing with this guy. And very, very briefly, the, the story that has scared you most? Ever? Ever? Me, a, a very uh, obscure story by uh, Joseph Sheridan Le Fanu called Schalk and the Painter. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. It scared me so much. Uh, the, the ending is, is a statue from a church that comes to life. And, and tries to seduce and marry a woman. It's really, it was so scary to me to imagine this old wooden thing uh, coming to life. And for you? Uh, there is a fairy tale called uh, The Boys in the Haddles Forest about uh, some boys up in a cabin at night uh, sleeping there. And basically they hear rumbling in the trees and everything about, and then this three, three headed troll comes and they have to fight them, f uh, fight them for their eyes and it's kind of a, Nutty story. I like that. <laughs> Creepy.